from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. California horse owners are now getting the message that the West Nile virus is a deadly disease. Of the 1.2 million horses in this state, 75% are now vaccinated. But that still leaves thousands of horses at risk. Of that number, uh, perhaps as many as five or even 10,000 uh, could be at risk for becoming infected and uh, develop clinical signs and die. Wilson says that perhaps only one in 20 infected horses develops clinical signs of the disease. No cough, runny nose, any diarrhea, anything like that? Those that do develop signs uh, typically will show signs of neurologic dysfunction that could be manifest early as changes in disposition, uh, agitation, uh, overreaction to sound or stimuli, uh, and then often proceeding to uh, muscle tremors, often involving the lips and the face. Horses that have recovered from the virus will develop an immunity to the disease, but it is not known how long it will last. Those horses that develop clinical uh, signs of disease, at least neurologic disease, um, the statistics in California would suggest that about 50% of those horses will either die or be euthanized. She's pretty good about shots? Yeah. She's Veterinarians say they recommend vaccinations for horses as young as three months. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.